Your Windows computer comes with several features, most of which you don't use, but they continue to run and consume system resources, unnecessarily slowing down your PC. In this video, you will know about 30 services slowing down your Windows PC that you can disable. Some of these services you don't require to run, and some of these you will disable to protect your privacy. If you feel that you need a particular service, you don't have to disable that. Click on the Start menu and type Services, click on it to open. The Geolocation service establishes your location and provides it to other apps. If you don't want apps to access your location, you can disable this service. Double-click on it to open Properties. Stop the service if it is running. Click on the Startup type and select Disable, click Apply, and OK. We will use the same steps to disable the services. The next one is Connected User Experience and Telemetry which collects information and sends it to Microsoft, such as feedback and usage data. Good to disable if considering privacy. The Windows error reporting keeps running in the background. It collects information about errors and crashes and sends that to Microsoft. You can disable it as it won't affect the working of your PC. Now disable the Diagnostic Policy Service. The service works similarly to Windows error reporting. Disable it if you don't want your data to be sent to Microsoft. Windows Search Service helps in indexing files and allows quick search, but at the same time, it causes high disk and RAM usage. If your PC is running slow, you can disable this service. SysMain or SuperFetch is used to speed up the app launches, but continuously uses the disk and RAM. So if you are experiencing high disk and RAM usage, it is safe to disable. The Downloaded Maps Manager Service provides access to downloaded maps to other apps. If you don't use such apps, you can safely disable it. Print Spooler Service is responsible for printing documents. If you don't have one, just disable it. Fax Service, don't know why it still comes with Windows, outdated and useless technology. Disable it without bothering. Retail Demo Service is used when a PC is in stores and running in retail demo mode. Since you are using your PC at home, you can safely disable it. If kids don't use your PC, you can disable the parental control service. It enforces rules set by you when your child uses the PC. The Bluetooth Audio Gateway service is used to serve audio through Bluetooth. If you don't use Bluetooth audio devices, it is unnecessary to run this service. You can disable Bluetooth support service if you don't use the Bluetooth services on your PC at all. If you are using any device like a mouse or keyboard through Bluetooth, you should leave it enabled. The Remote Desktop Configuration Service is responsible for all remote desktop services and configuration. You can disable this service if you never use Remote Desktop. Remote Desktop Service is responsible for accessing your PC using the Remote Desktop Protocol RDP. Disable this service if you don't want to access your PC using the RDP. The secondary logon allows you to start processes under different credentials, useful if you have different users registered on your computer. But if you are the only user of your PC, you can safely disable it. Smart Card Service reads smart card devices attached to your system. If you don't have such a device, you can disable these three services without worrying. Smart Card, Smart Card Device Enumeration Service, and Smart Card Removal Policy. These four services are useful when you play Xbox games on your PC. You can safely disable these services if you don't play. It includes Xbox Live Networking Service, Xbox Live Game Save, Xbox Live Auth Manager, and Xbox Accessory Management Service. Disable all these services. You might think that these services won't impact your performance. Yes, one or two won't have that much impact, but when you disable all these 30 services, it is definitely going to improve things. The Payments and NFC Manager is responsible for sending contactless payments from your device. Most of the PCs don't come up with NFC, and if your PC even has it, you don't use your device to make a payment. It is a good idea to disable it. The Remote Registry service allows remote users to access and edit the registry. If you don't want remote users to change the registry on your PC, you should disable this service. Windows Biometric Service allows apps to capture, compare, and store your biometric data. If your PC doesn't have biometric devices like a fingerprint or iris scanner, or you don't use them, you can disable this service. 
The Windows Insider service is helpful for users who are part of the Windows Insider program. It allows Insider updates to be installed on your PC. It is safe to disable this service when you are not in the Windows Insider program. Phone service and Windows Mobile Hotspot service are used to access mobile data or tethering on your PC. If you don't use these, you can safely disable these two services. The Windows Image Acquisition Service is used to get images from scanners and cameras. If you don't have any of these devices, you can disable this service. After disabling these 30 services, you are going to see improved performance, reduced RAM, CPU, and disk usage. If you need any of the disabled service in future, you can visit the services and enable that service.